You know, research tells us that the number one concern that horse owners have about trailers is safety. So we are here at Cresco, Iowa, the headquarters of Featherlight Trailers, along with Mr. Justin Queensland, who is the national sales manager of Featherlight. And we're going to learn about some things that you can look for in a trailer that do pertain to safety. Justin, welcome to the Horse Show. Rick, thank you. Excited to be here. You know, Featherlight's been kind of a leader in this field for a long time, but they did something special back in 1973. What was that? We did. The biggest change came with the construction or the overall material in the trailer, and that was introducing aluminum. Why is aluminum good? To start off, it's, it's lighter weight. A uh, lot less weight going down the road. That means a lot less weight that you're having to stop. But also, it uh, reduces corrosion compared to traditional steel trailers. Material isn't as likely to fail on you, I suppose. Is it still a rigid structure like a steel trailer would be? Well, it's, it's a very strong and well put together unit. There's a lot of engineering that goes into these products, but it's not the steel rigid feel that, that we're accustomed to or were years ago. Yeah. Uh, the new Featherlight Legend that we're going to look at here in a little bit uh, is all aluminum, but it is designed as a unibody construction and therefore it does flex going down the road. It because, flexes. Yeah, you, you don't want it too rigid because when it's too rigid, things crack, things break and, and fail over time. What about the inside of a trailer should we look for that affects the safety? It all starts with the floor, okay. the comfort of the ride, because going up and down the road, uh, you're going to make sure you have a nice, soft, cushioned ride. This trailer we're standing in now has three-quarter inch mats. Not too soft, not too hard. Correct, correct. What about the walls? Behind what we call the curbside wall, mm -hmm. there's actually a kick plate, and that's specifically put in place for the horse's safety, because the last thing you want um, is that horse to kick and have its leg actually go through <gasps> the outside of the trailer. Yeah, that right. could actually happen? That can happen. And then, you know, the, the real damage is done when the typical reaction is to pull it back through yeah. right away. So, and then you'll notice it is covered with the rubber matting. Moisture uh, can create mold and different things like that. So everything you notice here in this trailer, uh, it is trimmed out to prevent moisture getting backside there. Everything mm -hmm. is smooth, sleek, uh, no sharp edges. You know, I know in barns, Ventilation and light are very important for the welfare of the horse, the health of the horse. Yep. Same thing with the trailer? It is. That same thought process flows right into the, the transportation of the animal as well. So you want to have a significant amount of natural light, airflow, and you want that trailer to be inviting to reduce the stress of travel. So is, is it safe to say bigger is better where the windows are concerned? It is. The, you want to be able to maximize not only your natural light, but, but also the airflow. What about at nighttime? When you're looking to purchase a trailer, make sure you have adequate interior lighting. Um, and lighting that's very inviting and calming. You know, imagine standing in that trailer going down the road and it's very dark on the inside, but every car you pass is a very, yeah, it's a bright light. Yeah. Uh, so there's m multiple options for interior lighting. And, and one of those options is the new LED lights systems. And uh, what that does is actually gives a, a consistent light on the inside and it reduces that, that shock factor of that bright light. One thing we have to keep in mind is a horse trailer is engineered and designed specifically to carry horses. So therefore, it's different than a, a livestock trailer or the way a cargo trailer would be designed because you have a lot of a weight inside, so it's, it's critical that the axles are placed properly. So it would not be good from the safety standpoint to just haul a horse in any old trailer. I would not recommend that. Okay, <laughs> okay, I got that. The tires. Uh, that's a place where some people try to save money, but that's really one of the most critical places on a trailer. You don't want to be stranded on the side of the road uh, when it's hot out or on the interstate. Look for a good name brand tire. Uh, the other things are the brakes. Brakes are critical in, in stopping, especially the bigger the horse trailer, the more weight you have to stop. Uh, so this trailer here specifically comes with an electric brake system, but the great thing about it, and what you're going to want to look for is, these are self-adjusting brakes, so they take care of themselves. Ah. Cool. So that's unique. The other thing is our bearings. This trailer itself has uh, easy lube hubs, or even you and I could uh, make sure before we head out that they're well lubricated. Let's take a look at these uh, windows here. These are a little different from what I've got on my feather light. Mine are kind of rounded. Correct. This is something new for feather light. We're excited about it, and it comes standard on uh, our Legend Edition trailers. Okay. Is there any safety advantage to a squared off window like that? Not necessarily. Uh, the concept, the design, the engineering, the structural piece of it, it's all the same. So it's more of a personal preference, the radius versus the square. Yeah. Now you've got three different states of the window here. This, it's completely open. That horse could stick his head completely out of that window. Correct. It's not, uh, not recommended to have it this way uh, when traveling, but if you're going to stop for fuel or something, it's a great way to let that horse stretch a little bit. And okay and stick its neck out. This is more of the uh, desired or standard travel position that you'll see. 
uh, with the open bars to protect the horse uh, from any road debris, but yet allow them to get that airflow in. Yeah, it's, it's angled out, I can see, so we could probably get a little bit more of the air in yep, his face. Yep, they, they just got that few extra inches there to, yeah. to reach out. And then obviously this one's in the completely closed position. Correct. Traditionally what we see is two to three horse trailers, uh, more of the bumper pull style. But as you start going up in the number of horses, we see a migration to the gooseneck uh, version of the trailer. The bumper pull uh, trailer, all that weight is concentrated on the back side of that vehicle. Whereas a gooseneck like is this one here, uh, it allows the, the percentage of weight transfer to be greater over the axle of that vehicle, giving you a little bit more control, which is needed when you have more weight. What about backing and, and turning these things? I've yeah. got my own opinions. What are yours? <laughs> yeah, there is a difference between the way a bumper pull trailer and a gooseneck trailer maneuver. The gooseneck is going to allow you to, you know, get into maybe a little bit tighter area, but can also create some difficulties uh, when backing up. It's a little bit different where that bumper pull tends to give you a little bit more control while backing up, but when you're going forward, it doesn't let you turn quite as sharp. So there's some pros and cons to watch out for there. You know, I do have a little pet peeve with some trailers. I, I have to be honest with you, and it has to do with the door not opening all the way. Now this one goes all the way back, and to me that is safer. That is a big win from a safety standpoint. The hinges that we use on this trailer here allow it to fold all the way back. Uh, that's one thing you're going to want to watch out for when, when purchasing a trailer. Take a look at the hinge setups on the rear doors because if it doesn't allow it to fold back all the way, it actually creates a gap, uh, which can be a, a danger zone for uh, if you're loading a horse and it gets spooked and, and, and shoves the front leg through or something. Yeah. Plus, this is back far enough. He's not going to be running into the edge of it, or I'm not going to be <laughs> running into the edge of it. So I think that's kind of an important thing. This one has uh, quite a few lights on the back. Is it, is it better to have more lights? Yes. In my opinion, and most of the uh, consumer research we did on safety, more lighting is better. And in this case, you're looking at this trailer. Uh, these are LED lights. Uh, they last longer, uh, which is important, too, because uh, failure uh, can be a safety issue if you're going down the road and uh, your blinker doesn't work, for example. Yeah. These are recessed. As you can see, they're flush, which also is a key win, uh, something you're going to want to look out for uh, in case you happen to just back into the barn or get a little that too close. That never happens. <laughs> uh, so it'll keep it from knocking off the, uh, the caps. And, and also the placement of the uh, rear taillights is key. Uh, you never know if it's going to be a car, a pickup, or a semi behind you. And it's, it's really important that they know if you're going to switch lanes or come to a quick stop, uh, the visibility is, is key to safety. Yeah. I have one last question for you. I know this is partially personal preference. Ramp or no ramp? Ramp or no ramp. That is a, a constant debate that goes round and round. Now you can get a ramp on this trailer and that is something to look for, uh, but a lot of it comes back to your personal preference, your horse, and, and the way they like to load, and not just load, but unload, because that first step can mm -hmm. be somewhat tricky to some. So you, you want to go off of the preference of your horse as well. Yeah. A horse could be trained to safely use either. It can, correct, yep. All right, my friend, thank you very much. You did a great job. Rick, thank you, appreciate it.